Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I was opening the the other five pound uh, bag of jewelry from the Goodwill Blue Box, and I was recording, and my phone died, and I checked to see if what I had recorded had saved, but it didn't. So I ended up putting everything back, and um, I was probably maybe halfway through the through the bag when that happened. So I will start all over again. Um, this one here from the other lot. Let's get a better scratch. It doesn't look, it's not marked or anything, and it doesn't not look like, um, like gold. It looked like silver to me, but I tried testing it with the silver solution, the 18 karat one. I used the neutralizer and the 10 karat one. This is the one that I just put right now. And these ate through everything, but this one stayed, it's still there. So I think this might be 10 karat gold. And this is from my last, um, my previous video. It's very small. I mean, you could probably use it like a knuckle ring. Mm, let me wipe this off. Okay, and I think this is a five, probably. Uh, five and three quarters. So I will take that to my jeweler and and see. I'm going to invest in one of those um diamond testing pens because that's what what might be. They're very small. They just might be real. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so this one was an Avon bracelet and it's in very good condition. This is a closure. And it says Avon there. Ugh, I put it backwards. It's very clean. I know people collect Avon. So there's that one. I have this cuff bracelet. A stretchy bracelet with a white ribbon in good condition nothing is missing and I did have a few of these in here so I'll just pull them out so one is pink one is white and one is red aside as usual okay so I have this um, plastic cuff with the gold foil inlay very lightweight our ring artisan made um, these are plastic faceted beads no makers mark A stretchy bracelet, not in good shape. A necklace, no maker's mark. 
very light blue, minty blue beads, plastic, a cuff with a full snake skin, another bracelet on a memory wire with sea beads, blue, um, teal blue, lilac purple and black, a choker, a hot pink choker, One still has a tag icing 48 inches by Claire's and it's pretty long and it has similar colors to to this one well sort of this one is like a resin with roses um, powdered blue toned and green with two metal beads. Similar color, another bangle with um, yarn or thread wrapped all around. I have three of these bracelets, green, in good condition. Those are nice. This is from Macy's. Butterfly necklace. Another stretch. This one has similar colors. Similar style to this one. Only this one has owl I will, um, it's in between. These might go in a lot. The necklace. Kind of like twisted very lightweight beads very nice a bracelet to togo clasp with little dangles and this is um like a Cloth twisted in between the links, and I think that's Juicy Couture. I have another blue necklace. This one looks in very good condition. It's possibly new. I don't think it's ever been worn. I mean, it's very clean. Beautiful. Cobalt blue. This one's more of a lapis color. This one's more of a cobalt blue. I have a bag here with some earrings. I wonder why these were separate from everything else. I think it's probably because these two are different, but they're very artsy. That, that might be uh, the actual pair. Even though they're different, I have the breast cancer awareness. No price in the back. These are nice, very clean. Um, I, oh, I have another pair of earrings. Very lightweight. This is the back. 
Little maker's mark. I have these enamel plum and red red red. Excuse me. No maker's mark. This still has a little padding and it's clean. These are good, perfect for Valentine's Day. Let me see another pair here. They look like hot air balloons. Post earrings. Enamel. And I have these earrings. Nice. Um, no match. I have one that is busted here and a bunch of beads everywhere all over my table over here um, that's gonna go to crafting I have a statement piece necklace with wooden beads and some metallic these are lighter weight and um, these are heavy uh, kind of like a bronze and grayish metal let me move these aside, make some space here, and show you like this. A very long, I think this one goes doubled, necklace. Very long. And this one kind of looks like the length of the, the other icing one. And it's it has the same feel to it, lightweight, same material. So those... I'm not sure if they go together, but we can put them together. A pair of earrings. Um, an amber color faceted bead at the bottom. They're the same in the back and the front. No maker's mark. And this is like a plastic. Then I have another necklace. And it is missing a lot of these, um, wait, are they missing or are they just, yeah, missing? Mm, all of the ones on this side are missing, so. It has some wood beads that can be repurposed. Crafting. This is kind of like a moon glow. Um, four leaf clover or shamrock on an adjustable very bright green um, rope uh, some plastic beads elastic is pretty worn another stretching bracelet the rondelles are not in good shape but these can be repurposed Crafting a necklace. How does this go? Okay, it's 
So here's the clasp, no maker's mark. And it has full pearl tear shaped beads, two bars of wood, and two metallic panels. Those are abbreviation Argentina, Chile, and Me Mexico. And um, there's different prices there. This says 10. If it says Mexico and it says 10, it's probably in pesos. I'm assuming it says todo moda. 10 pesos is not a lot. Very lightweight, big pieces and chips. I think this is all wood, but it's a very lightweight wood. A wine necklace with a tassel. And then I think this um, is coconut with a metal inlay on a cord, leather cord. Well, I don't know if this is leather. Probably not. And I don't know if you can make that smaller. Um, a necklace. You can't really see the green because it camouflages with this tablecloth. I mean, this towel. Uh, I'm missing one right here. Maybe it's here in the bag somewhere. And this is the clasp. No maker's mark. Hopefully I can find that uh, other piece so I can fix it. This one is a mesh bracelet, but it is not in good shape. So trash, I don't want anybody to prick their finger on me. It's a little sharp. Two of these bangles, um, metallic in the inside. I do see some beads missing on both. I will put this in crafting and perhaps somebody can harvest some of these and transfer them to another one and make a good bangle. I don't know. I have another one of these necklaces in black tone. Nothing is missing. Those are nice. Clip on earrings. Nothing's missing, very clean. They kind of go with this one, maybe, or even, no, 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 not that one. Okay. I have uh, another one of these cord necklaces. I don't know what happened here, but this is very lightweight. I think this is wood, very organic looking. 
I would probably lose the bead since I untangled the knot. So I'm going to just so I don't lose them. And another necklace tangled up, of course, with some hair. Okay. It is a pendant wine necklace, plastic on a cord. This is the clasp. I don't see a maker's mark. Tangled. This might be alpaca. I see some very, um, and they're kind of worn. Malachite and enamel inlay. Yeah, these are worn. Crafting. Ooh, I like this one. This one is cool to the touch. These might be semi-precious stones. I have some purple, some blue, clear, olive green, some reddish one. It's pretty long. Very nice. Um, I see a locket here and a key and a 1987. I am familiar with that brand. I do have a few pieces from them. They're not made from the year 1987. It's just the brand name they have uh, they make their pieces to look like very old pieces in my first video I think I have um, two of them and in my second video I came across another and and I also went to a flea market and I found a very beautiful glass one with um, flowers pressed in the glass and I haven't shown it in in the video yet but I will bring it up in one of my upcoming videos so it's kind of loose yeah it needs to be fixed Skeleton key and a pearl. And here's the tag. You know what? I don't even think this is a, the same as the other pieces that I have. I think this is a different brand. And a little rhinestone there I think you can no you can I thought they were reversible but well we have the, the earrings I mean, the necklace can be reversible. What do you guys think? Interesting. Another pair of clip-on earrings. No maker's mark. 
Oh, one's missing there. And the other one's okay. It's not that one. That one has a different shape. But another earring. Earring. Another stretchy bracelet. Black and silver tone coils. And an elephant. I actually found this one in my previous video and I kept it for myself. I think it's how light and moonstone and an elephant. Okay, so I have the earrings for this one. Mm, nothing's missing. No price. And I see the other one over here. So I have sets. It's nice to have sets. I don't know what this is. It's too small to be a, a necklace, it's probably a choker. Very tangled up, um, broken. You know, um, I probably will keep this one and use it for Halloween. Um, cut this piece off and then make put a pendant and use as a choker. I, I always dress up like a witch. This is um, some sticker adhesive there. Nice pin. I have another one of these, but it's a different color. These are more on the pink side and this one's... Maybe somebody can harvest these and fix these two. Or the other way around. I have some bangles that are not in, in very good shape. They're bent, so these will all go to crafting. I have three other mesh. Like the one that was damaged. These don't seem to be damaged. So gold tone, a bronze one, and a silver tone. More loose beads. MDB, Best Friends, Lobster Clasp, Jones, New York, Tag, Two Circles, A puffy heart. There's a little bead stuck in there. That's from the necklace that that came apart earlier. One tiny one is missing there. Togo clasp. This reminds me of those Tiffany and Co necklaces. <laughs> Very clean. It can still be worn this way. I I will try to fix that one with some E6000 and another another bead, another bangle. More earrings. 
Oh no, wait, this is not an earring. This is a bracelet, an anklet. I'm not sure. Come on. I think it's too small to be a necklace. Definitely too big to be a bracelet. I don't think anybody will wear an anklet with such a large pendant. I don't know. So crafting. Another stretchy bracelet with a tassel. Very light. Um, I don't know if this is like hollow metal. A very heavy, very worn hinged bracelet. No maker's mark. Crafting. Okay, I have a pair here. Earrings. I have some hoops. These two. These are the same. It's just a different tone. Wait, I think these. No, these. Or different colors. Wait, are these? Oh no, yeah, these are gold tone, metallic. That one doesn't have a pair yet. Another pair of earrings. Very lightweight. These are in very bad shape. Crafting. Another wide necklace. There is a tag, the limited, very organic. Another pair of earrings, enamel, gold tone, no maker's mark. have a necklace um, with this sort of a closure with the letter L but this can be removed the L um, and put another it's a togo clasp it's a togo clasp but it has a lobster no not a lobster uh, I can't think right now I, I don't know Stretchy bracelet. Three stretchy bracelets. Gold tones, bronze. Oh, I see. It's worn in between. So crafting. Oh, this one's interesting. So it's a necklace on a cord with sea beads and it's 
some dangles. stretchy bracelet very colorful some glass some resin some chips and metal another no no this is not a stretchy bracelet it's a barrel clasp these are like dyed wooden beads more bangle these are interlock bangles little barn okay a pair of earrings here nothing is missing this is I don't know Jasper or Tiger's Eye I'm not sure it has to be one or the other. It's cool to the touch on a stretchy. Another stretchy bracelet. On um, wood. Very light wood. And this one. with that one kind of and this one maybe I have uh, clip on earrings a maker's mark two Yeah, these are the same. Another pair of earrings. This one looks like it goes with this. Do I have the other? I do. I don't see anything missing. This might be a set. Kind of like a metallic blue and metal. I have some earrings here. This one is marked 925 and China. So I'll have to test. Oh no, they're not a match. Wait, these are a match. These are a match. Nothing on the back. These are a match. They need some cleaning. Nothing on the back as well. And no, nope. wait. These, these are a match. Nope. <laughs> I have one of each. I have a charm here, enamel, like a mint green and a pink pastel with a yellow center. These are some big clip-on earrings. No maker's mark. Enamel. Very clean. I'm gonna make a clip-on earring lot. I have this with the rhinestone and a, and a coin. And I don't see any maker's mark. And I see the other one, but it's missing the coin. So crafting. I have another 
earring here. I don't see them much. I have a pair of hoops here, silver tone with the spinning gold tone bead. Some hoop earrings. I don't see anything missing. These coral color earrings, flowers, but uh, missing a bead. Okay. I see a match here. Green and black. No maker's marks. A pendant. I mean, look at this one. This one I do see in the bail that is marked there, 925. I will test this one and also right there. So then this is the front. Testing. These look like wooden beads. Stretchy bracelet. I have a ring here, pretty worn. Missing stones, bypass, or actually stretch, um, adjustable. Pull steerings, no maker's mark. These will go to crafting. I think they're supposed to be jellyfishes. Um, sailboats, earrings in good condition. These. Have similar coloring, and I think I saw something else in there too. So I'm not sure where I put it, or maybe it was this. I don't know. Oh, here. But this is also a clip on earring. Clip on earring, and these are pierced earrings. But I mean, they have the same sailboats and, and an anchor. I don't know if I have the other one. The stretchy bracelet. I have these. These are nice. Pink, black, purple. No maker's mark. I did find the other one of these. So I have the pair. Oh, this is a charm. Missing there. I don't know we can add another in, in the center, but not the right size. I mean, it's not like I don't have beads in here. I mean, look at this. Actually, let me, let me see if I can. I mean, I'll find something to put there. That's what I'm saying. Another one. So I'll put these in a lot. Some charms. Okay, I think I may have some matches now. So I have this pair. This pair. Nope. I have three again. Okay, I'll keep looking. It's like a scavenger hunt. Another bangle for crafting. I have a necklace here with some 
bronze discs and some shell discs. tangling this necklace so the anchors and the cell bolts and these um, I, it, whoa tip my camera over I have these they need a little cleaning enamel and this pair enamel as well and I thought I saw another another similar similar pair yep over here so these can go in a lot I have another pair of clip-on earrings no markings oh wait this one says PAT I think that's pattern three one five nine eight nine four. I don't know. Let me check the other one. Same thing for the other one. Interesting. And coming to an end here. Um, When I when I watch my video, then I um, in the camera I can see all the pairs, but right now I I'm trying to look for them and I I can't seem to find them. Another pair of hoops, another stretchy bracelet, another pair of earrings. A necklace with a happy I'll be happy when I find a pair to all of these oh another pair another pair here I like those. I see kind of like a hematite color butterfly. I think that's what it is. Earrings. Another pair here. This one took longer than than the other videos. There's a lot more little things going on. I have the backings that need cleaning, but they seem to go to probably the the black um the black post earrings. Oh no, it's going to be difficult to find. Okay, I'll just set them aside. I don't think this was originally the backing for this. What is this? Oh, this is not a, this is a pin. There's some letters back there I can't really see. Interesting looking. a little pearl pin this is in a bad condition trash and I don't think I have any more oh yeah I do another another match and then there's these cubed oh those are beautiful Very 
interesting. Another pair. And oh, this is a little pendant. I think this is a volleyball. It looks like it. I don't see any markings, but this is in a very nice clean condition. It's beautiful. Little volleyball. Oh, this is so cute. A panda bear. And it opens up and it says love. It's clean. Very nice. I like that one. For a little girl. Trash. I have a, a butterfly here with some letters that are very tiny I can't see. I have another little pendant. This one looks like it's very tiny, like the earrings. Didn't I have some earrings that matched? It's going to be very difficult to find. It kind of goes with this one, too. I don't know. And then more of these bangles. And... What is this? A choker? It has to be a choker. Tangled up. Nice pendant. And I don't think I have a, a match for these. I'll just show you like this. This one looks like a golf ball. Oh, that one's pretty. They look like they're matches, but they're not quite the right size. This is the one that says 925, but I don't have the pair. Oh, another, some backings, butterflies. Um, a bunch of beads, loose beads. So that one's nice. Look at my table, beads everywhere. And um, that is it.